The idea of finding a new planet in our solar system is so compelling. I first read about this when I was like seven in my little kid's first space book. Astronomers are still looking for planet X, and recently a group of astronomers looking through two sets of data going back 23 years found what they think might be a planet in our solar system. To be very clear, they didn't find a planet as in image it. They found gravitational disturbances in the outer solar system that suggest there could be a large body out there. So anything about this planet planet is theoretical if it even exists. It's about 46.5 to 65.1 billion miles away from the sun, which I'm not even going to convert that to kilometers for you guys. It's really, really far away, about 20 times further than Pluto. What got me was the headline saying it might have life, because then if you actually read the article, they talk about how life is pretty much impossible on this planet. It's so far away that very minimal sunlight would actually reach this planet, so there would have to be some other form of energy than sunlight. Not to mention, it's that far away, it's probably really, really cold, so the only water that would be in liquid form would be deep underneath an icy surface, if there is a surface at all. And this got me thinking about how often astronomy news is framed around we may have found a planet that could host life. Granted, we usually see this when we're talking about exoplanets, which are planets that orbit other stars. And one thing that I find so fascinating about this that I think people don't remember is that when we're dealing with life on exoplanets, we're not just dealing with distance, we're dealing with time. The distance to exoplanets is not measured in miles or kilometers, it's measured in light years, which is of course not a measure of time, but a measure of distance. A light year is the distance that light travels over the course of one year, and it's something like six trillion miles. So when we're looking at exoplanets that could potentially have life, the further away we look, the further back in time we're going. So when you think about it, looking for life on another planet isn't just looking for the right chemical environment, we have to catch that planet at the moment in time that life could survive on its surface. Carl Sagan had the famous and totally brilliant way of looking at life on Earth as a calendar. If the history of the universe is a calendar, we appeared on Earth at 1159.59. 59. We are just before midnight. We are such a small part of Earth's history. So if we're going to look for life on other planets, we have to look at that equally tiny moment in that planet's history. And that, I think, makes looking for life infinitely more interesting and challenging, but also infinitely cooler. But what do you think? Am I just a nerd or is it actually really cool?